welcome to Archer Earnings and in this video we are going to see how we can protect and unprotect Excel worksheets using Invoke VBA activity in UiPath Studio and first let me show you uh, the Excel sheet and the manual process that how we can protect and unprotect Excel sheet and then we will see how we can automate that using the Invoke VBA activity in UiPath Studio before going to that if you haven't subscribed to our channel Please consider subscribing for more videos. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you have any other doubts, please do mention them in the comment section below. And let me show you the Excel sheet. And here is the Excel sheet, uh, the sheet one. And I'm going to protect this and unprotect this using Invoke VBA. And the manual process here is uh, you click on protect and you need to uh, pass the password and click on OK. It will ask again. And if you click on OK, then you can see the icon here. It is locked. And if you want to unprotect, and you can click here. And if you uh, give the password there, then it will unlock the sheet. And this is what we are going to automate in this video. And first, uh, go to UiPath Studio, and then take an Excel application scope uh, in order to open the Excel file and provide the Excel file path, uh, which is demo and here we have uh, the excel file path so excel is open now application scope now you need to use a invoke vba code because we are using the invoke vba to uh, protect and unprotect that particular sheet so we need to drag in invoke vba activity and we need to do the path so i have already written the code and let me show you the code here this is a product sheet here it is a text file so here we can see the code uh, which is we need to uh, we, we need to write a function which is product sheet uh, which contains the parameters of sheet name and password these are the two parameters which are required for this function and first we are calling the sheets and the sheet name which is provided by the uh, in the input and we are selecting that and um, we are protecting the active sheet which is active in this particular excel and we are setting up the password for that one and closing the function so this is the vb script uh, vb code dot net which is required to protect the excel sheet so let me uh, take the file path of this product sheet and here uh, you need to change this particular entry method name to this entry method name so let me copy this one and here we need to provide this particular name here and where we need to pass the parameters which is sheet name and the password so here you can see in the properties panel which is entry method parameters uh, you can list up up to 30 parameters to that particular VBA UV code so you need to uh, pass it on the flower brackets and then you need to pass it as a string so you need to enter it in the double quotes which is a sheet one and here after that we need to mention the string of the password so i am giving it as a test and if i click on ok then these are the two uh, major things that you need to remember giving the main function name here and then you need to pass the parameters from this entry method parameters if i click on uh, debug and see whether it is actually protecting this particular excel file or not let me close this if i click on debug now uh, we will see how it protects this particular worksheet of sheet 1 in the excel here it is sheet 1 and you can see that it's protected so let me open that file that excel file and show you whether it is protected or not so here we can see it is protected here so after protecting this particular excel sheet how uh, we gonna access it either you can click on uh, review and you can unprotect this by entering the password or else we can also automate uh, the unlock this particular sheet or unprotect this particular sheet by 
using the invoke VBA code again. So uh, there is slight change, just a, a word change while in protecting and the unprotecting particular sheet. So as I already opened this, here uh, we are protecting this particular sheet. Now we need to unprotect this particular sheet and these parameters remain same which is sheet name the sheet name which is passed by the input and the password so we need to just make it as unprotect sheet so the function name here is unprotect sheet and here the method is unprotect and the password which is given in the method parameters so this is only the difference uh, in protecting and unprotecting the excel sheet so let's save this and you need to uh, change uh, the method name here which is unprotect sheet and then here we can see the unprotect sheet the method name and the entry parameters remain same which is sheet 1 and the password is test so it will remain same uh, so let me close this particular sheet and if I debug this again so we can see how it is un unprotecting this particular Excel sheet now the robot is started now and you can see it is unprotected this particular sheet so let me open it and show you the excel sheet opened and we can see it is unprotected uh, as in the earlier it, it is protected by the password and now it is unprotected by the password which is given in the method parameters and this is actually how uh, you can protect and unprotect excel worksheets by using invoke vba activity in uefa studio and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching